uh, I joined a soccer team when I was five. My dad put me in soccer because he felt like it would provide stability for me because I had a rough childhood, um, which it did. And I started to obsess over it and I fell in love with it and I got really good at it. I played for a few phenomenal soccer teams um, and ended up joining the Olympic Development Program and took it to the regional level. I played in a few national tournaments with my travel team and I also played high school ball. And I recommend to you, if you're an athlete looking to play in college, you better start sooner than later because the recruitment process nowadays is absolutely insane. They start looking at you in like eighth grade. It's crazy. Uh, so yeah, long story short, ended up at a college I didn't really like and didn't mesh with the coach very well. Um, went there for a boy, which was so stupid. Girls, don't do that. Don't do that. And uh, yeah. Just didn't fit in well, didn't know what I wanted to major in. I had just, I lost my stepmom when I was 16, which was really hard. Being a good woman has literally gotten me nowhere, but I don't have it in me to go be in the streets. So if you need me, I'll be at work or sleeping or at the gym. If you like me and you think you want to date me, please leave me alone. I don't feel like crying anymore. That's kind of just where I ended up and hated my life. <laughs> so I joined the army and when I joined the army, I missed being an athlete. So it was like a loss of identity and I got into lifting because I needed to do something and had no idea what I was doing, couldn't even lift the bar. So that's the funny thing. I think people like don't realize like I had no idea what I was doing. I kind of got fat because I was hungry all the time and I was lifting, but I didn't really know what I was doing. So I was just eating everything in sight. And so, yeah, like we can do that. That can be a separate video.
So I did CrossFit, Olympic lifting, loved them. Started CrossFit in, when I was deployed. Um, it got me through deployment. It was a great rush and kept me busy. Olympic lifting was cool. I was really good at that and just, just wasn't feeling fulfilled the way that soccer had fulfilled me. And so I got into bodybuilding recently. Somebody snagged me up and was like, hey, have you ever heard of the wellness category? And I was like, no. And then I saw it and I was like, oh shit, I want to do that. So that's where we are right now. Um, nutrition, oh shoot, I have 10 seconds left. Go to part two if you want to hear about my nutrition. then nowadays I'm in bodybuilding and it's kind of centered about, around nutrition so my relationship with food has significantly improved um, thanks to my coaches and also just research I was just tired of feeling like I was afraid of food so I'll just go ahead and give you some examples of what I'm eating now for protein carbs and fats This video is going to be a little different from my normal content. Uh, just because I'm gaining a following, I want to address a few things so that I don't have to talk about it anymore. Um, this is my one and final video addressing it, and, and I will never speak on it again unless I am in an interview or doing a podcast or speaking with an intellectual. Okay? One, the hate. There are too many people that love me and support me and believe in me and want to learn from me for me to give time and energy to any of these bigots online anymore. I am not responding to shit anymore. I played the game for a couple of posts of mine and, and I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I, I don't have the energy for that, okay?
I am a lifelong athlete. I played college soccer, I joined the army, and I've been lifting for six years now. I've dedicated all of my time and effort to being fit, um, nutritionally and mentally as well as physically. I've learned the whys, the reasoning behind every training aspect and still going through trial and error to this day so if you want to hate on me if you want to accuse me you know this is not something that I achieved within the last two years this is not this has been a, a lifelong physique build whatever the fuck you want to call it okay um <laughs> but you know what you do you boo boo it just gives me motivation I should take it as a compliment um just trying to be professional about it because I have a little bit of an attitude but we're learning to just let things go so thank you for the follows and I cannot wait to make more videos and content for y'all and I cannot wait to to read your comments and see what you guys want to see from me I have so much love for all of you except for the bigots So just make sure that you're um, keeping that in mind, like I said, but I am so excited to be able to share my knowledge and my fitness journey with everybody finally. All of these followers are so unexpected, so thank you so much, and just let me know in the comments what you want to know from me. Mwah.